hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in this video we will look at five causes that can lead to differential failure what can lead to differential to go bad in this video we will have a look at five of them well the differential is designed to allow the left and right wheel to be driven at different speed for example when your vehicle is making a third the inner wheel has to travel shorter distances than the outer wheel. So in order to smoothly negotiate the turn, the speed variation has to be allowed between the inner and the outer wheel. That is accommodated by the differential. So whenever there is a differential problem, that can lead to unpredicted handling characteristics. So it's very crucial that you listen to symptoms of your differential that indicate the differential is a trouble and take immediate action to fix it if you are interested to know five symptoms of differential trouble please check out a video the link is in this in the description now let's come to what can lead to differential to go bad. the number one reason of a differential failure is lack of lubrication Always remember this. The number one reason for differential to go bad is lack of lubrication. For example, if the oil inside the differential is way too small, when there is low oil level in the differential, that will definitely lead to differential trouble. So make sure that the differential fluid level is always at its top always to the specification that is the number one cause of differential fear lack of lubrication always remember that there is too much load passing through the differential too much friction taking place inside the differential that requires lots of lubrication so the number one reason is low oil level inside the differential the second failure cause for a differential is not changing the differential oil as recommended by the manufacturer. The oil could be at its correct level, but if the oil is too old, if the differential fluid is not replaced as soon as it is recommended to be replaced, the oil quality, the lubrication quality will go down. This will lead to differential failure. So the second reason is not changing the differential oil as recommended by the manufacturer. Correct oil type has to be put into the differential. So failure to do that will definitely lead to differential failure. For example, you are supposed to put in thick fluid. So if you put in a very thin fluid into the differential, that will definitely lead to differential failure. The third thing that can lead to differential failure is wheel spin. By wheel spin, we mean excessive wheel speed. Intermittent excessive wheel speed. For example, if you are driving in a road that is known to have poor traction, the wheel speed will be variable. We have good traction followed by poor traction, again followed by good traction. So when this is happening, what happens is this causes high energy shock loads when the grip is suddenly back. When you lose your grip, the speed of the wheel increases. And then when the wheel of, I mean, when the grip is suddenly back, this will cause shock loads to the differential components. For example, if you are driving on a muddy road, this can result in. If you are driving on sand patch, this can cause. Or if you are driving on snow, or if you are driving on ice, this can lead to good followed by poor traction. That will lead to shock loads. 
So this spike in load can cause damage or even can lead to fracture on the internal parts of the differential. Or it can even lead to damage of other drivetrain components like the universal joints, for example. So, allowing wheel spin can also lead to differential failure. The fourth thing that can lead to differential failure is not checking the breather regularly. Well, the breather is there to vent the differential to the atmosphere. If there is, for example, crack is there, if there is leak, if there is a split in this system that will allow water to be admitted into the differential, that can lead to differential failure. For example, if the vehicle is being driven in a muddy road, in a flooded road, water can be admitted into the differential, leading to water contamination that will cause poor, contam poor lubrication as a result. Remember that most gear oils break down as water is added to them. So, always check your differential. Check the breather and its surrounding. Do you have any leakage? Are there any cracks that will allow water to be admitted into the differential? If there is, be sure to fix it as soon as possible. So when water is added somehow to the differential, it will definitely lead to differential trouble. And the final thing that can lead to differential trouble is reckless driving. If you push your vehicle too hard, for example in drag race, burnouts, that will cause a differential to go bad. So reckless driving is another reason that can lead to differential failure. The other thing is if you notice your differential is overheating, Overheating can be caused by wrong type of oil, it can be caused by lack of lubrication, it can be caused by worn gears, excessive bearing preload, excessive backlash between the ring gear and pinion gear, or even it can be caused by overloading when driving. That will also lead to differential failure. However, differential overheating is basically it is a significant sign of low differential fluid. So always be careful not to induce big shock to the differential. Prevent wheel spin as much as possible to reduce differential overheating. Regularly check and replace. Do not ignore sign of troubles. For example, if there is noise, if there is leak, that will definitely lead to costly repair. Don't ignore them. Take immediate action. So these are some of the causes of a differential to go bad. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.